A four-year-old girl is clinging to life tonight. Her mother was beaten to death. It's a horrible crime that involves a 911 call for help earlier in the day. This is Mackenzie Hopkins and her daughter. Hopkins was just 24 years old. The family has set up a GoFundMe asking for donations. Investigative reporter Angie Bracono has been digging into what we know about this murder. Angie? Well, Carolyn, police arrived at McKenzie's house Saturday night, but she called for help earlier that morning where a dispatcher could hear fighting. Police and prosecutors won't say if police were initially dispatched, saying this is an open investigation. Court documents refer to that call as a disturbance with an open line and say they later connected it to this crime. The call came from McKenzie's phone. All of this happened on Saturday. The 911 call is in the morning, right around 6 a.m. Police are on scene around 6 p.m. that night, some 12 hours later, with McKenzie's father. He had a key, but as he tried to use it, the door simply opened. Inside, they found the 24-year-old mother beaten to death, submerged in a bathtub. Her four-year-old daughter is in critical condition. She was found on a bed with severe head injuries. The family has started a GoFundMe and calls this a senseless crime and says the little girl is in the ICU. They posted, McKenzie was so loved by many. She was an incredible sister, daughter, friend, and mother. Her only wish would be for her sweet little girl to recover as quickly as possible. Thank you for your help caring for our family and our loss. Jose Escalante Corchado faces numerous charges, including murder. He's the boyfriend of one of McKenzie's friends. It's unclear why he reportedly went to her house that night. Police have revealed a timeline pieced together with surveillance videos and phone calls. It reveals a male near McKenzie's house coming and going around the time she calls 911 for help and the call taker can hear fighting. Once again, this is around 6 in the morning. The male leaves, goes to a Shell gas station, then returns to McKenzie's house, then leaves again. Police and her father are at the house later that night. Jose Escalante Corchado denies he's the killer. Police say he eventually admitted he was driving near McKenzie's house and identified himself in photos collected from that gas station.